common hood crack um, and I happen to have one on the 65 sunroof and uh, they almost always crack right along this area here now <clears throat> the difficulty is is this is a compound uh, curve so it curves this way and it also curves this way so it's a very difficult piece to make if you don't know really that much about pie cutting so what I'm going to do is show you guys what pie cutting is and uh, a couple different ways to pie cut and how to fix this crack so uh, I cheat a little bit I have a metal break so it's a lot easier for me to do this than some of you guys you make a piece of metal that's like this so you notice that has no angles to it it's just straight and bent um, I'll show you a way you can do this at home with a couple of items you can buy from Harbor Freight Tools they have this uh, this is some 22 gauge because it's a lot easier to work with we're gonna double it up anyway so um, this is uh, what these are these are duck bill vice grips now you can get these in pliers too they have them in the welding section at Harbor Freight Tools um, and uh, these this is just regular sheet metal I got it uh, IMS metal supply um, there's a lot of places so you guys can all get there plus you will need a pair of cutters let me show you and the reason I'm using 22 gauge is it's so much easier to work with than the 19 gauge original steel all right so you'll need a pair of these as well and uh, basically what you want to do and I'll show you I'll go ahead and cut a piece here then I'll show you guys exactly how to do this with the piece I've cut so first of all you go through and cut a bunch of series of lines here now pie cutting actually would be cutting a pie shaped piece out but uh, we're gonna cheat a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it like this and let it overlap and then I'm gonna show you you have to double pie cut this piece because it has to fit in at a compound angle let me show you this is actually a really tricky pie cut but if you notice I staggered everything so if you see that this edge see where I what I clipped this one is between these two pie cuts so that you still have some strength in your metal because that's what you're trying to do by putting this piece in there is strengthen up the front of the hood because it was very poorly designed in the beginning and that's why it cracks there um, one of the things you really need to watch out for is that um, when you put your new piece in that you don't have the, this flatness maintains so if there's a giant gobby weld right here um, when you shut your hood it will uh, interfere and give you a lot of hood cap so it there's a it's a really tight area if you look that's why I use really fine sheet metal and all I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp this into place and then I'll weld this in so let me uh, let me show you how that works and that will give you it will get it'll just form to the right direction as you do that if you get this set of these clamps it should have the proper clamp in there like I'm going to show you right now I believe that this one here is going to work I'm not sure but um, it's it's actually a very difficult one to clamp into place but I'm gonna see if I can get it in there and uh, I've done this a few times and almost every VW has the same problem uh, I didn't have it on the blue bug but uh, I do have some hood cracks right now with it because somebody else did something and it didn't work so I'll probably have to fix that and then spot paint the front uh, and I planned on doing that later on not a big deal to me but um, some of you guys want to fix this right the first time it's much easier so you can see this kind of bends into place fairly easy um, so I'm trying to match the angle here then I have to bend this over a little bit tighter I'm gonna use a hammer and I'm gonna bend that edge where my thumb is over more so that it meets the same angle as what's up there 
And then I'm going to put it in from behind and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I bent it down so that it meets that same angle. I know that this angle arc is not the same, but uh, once it's in place, I believe I can be beat it around the same way. But you kind of get the idea. This bends actually fairly easily. And then what you're going to have to do is once you get it in place, you're going to want to spot weld along all of the seams and then spot weld it to the sheet metal itself on the inside of the hood. You have a nice strong hood at this point once you do this. So you'll find, uh, oh, did I turn this upside down? Or did I, I don't know. Hang on one second. Yeah, I had this upside down, so sorry about that. Um, what, the best place to sit is if you just sit right here when you're working on this. It's great, it's like a little seat. You can just sit right here and work on it. But, um, so the piece of metal fits in like this. And so you're gonna have to clamp like one end of it, start welding it. This is the same way you fix this if you have a giant rust hole right here. You just use a larger piece of steel. So you'd have to, you know, make sure that it fits the whole area. I've had several that were rusted like that over the years. And it's, you never wanna throw that hood away. That's a good hood. If it's got a rust hole right here and it's straight, oh my God, please don't throw it away. Um, so, you cut it out first, and then you just make a piece out of pie cutting metal like this, and then you set that in place, and then you just go ahead and weld it in place. Uh, maybe I'll fire up the welder real quick and show you how that's done. Uh, but I really don't, I can't clean anything right now, guys, so um, uh, if I make any noise right now, it's just too noisy. I can clamp on here, and then I'll just burn through. Uh, using the burning method that I showed you guys in the other video. I'm just going to get it hot, arc it once, and get it nice and hot first and burn the paint off, and then go ahead and weld it. Um, it isn't quite the best way to do it, but it does work, and uh, it is fairly strong, uh, you know, but if you're butt welding that way, um, you could really compromise your welding. It's better to, to have it clean metal. But uh, right now, where this car is sitting, it'd be just too noisy for me to do this at this time in the morning. So what I've done is, uh, I've gone along the bottom edge and clamped it using this. Started over here, clamped my way along, pushing it into the groove. You see how it fits nicely in there. Um, the only thing I wish I would have done is maybe cut it just a little bit wider because I'm going to have to tie. See this extra brace here? There's an extra brace on the top, but they didn't put it all the way around. That's why they cracked there. Um, I'm going to have to tie that brace in by welding it at the very end. Um, but uh, you notice I was burning through a little bit, so it's a little bit tough welding in here, but it's not too bad. So real quick, I'm going to show you the progress. It's not pretty, but it is welded in. I know I'm penetrating because I, I can see the other side. All the paint's gone. Uh, welds going all the way through. So we have penetration, no problem. Um, but uh, this is super strong now. Um, so what you need to do, and I can't do it right now, is grind this all down, get all these welds nice and neat looking. And then if you want it to look perfect, you can just put a coat of Bondo over there. And this boy's, oh, I'm not putting that on my car. I want original. I want, you know, well then weld up the cracks and then let crack again. <laughs> that's the way it was originally. And that's why it's crap. And that's why you got to put a support in here. So... That's what you're looking like. Your pie cuts are in there. Weld a few of them up. You don't have to get every single one of them. Um, when they're welded in, it it gives it the strength. Um, so uh, try and get as many of the pie cuts welded together that you can. And then there's your hood patch. Let me uh, show you the outside. I'm gonna, so real quick. Now, see, mine was cracked right here. Usually there'll be a crack and then it'll split right along the seam and you'll have a hanger. 
like the hood historian's car if you watch his video on his car you're going to find that you'll see exactly the same usually it's a split right along the edge and it's something hanging down um, so you fix that the same way if, if it's cracked over here anywhere else you do the same type of thing you don't have to pie cut it as much but you do the same type of a patch you use it use that tool use this tool here to clamp it in I mean you need something like this to do this really this is the best tool these things I think are ten dollars for a full set of Harbor Freight tools it's if you're gonna do any welding um, it's kinda cool because it it'll clamp and you can weld between the two or you can weld to the side or you can you know this one here it, it you'd think it wouldn't even work because it's straight but it actually works really well for doing all this type of stuff for crack, crack fenders this is really a must-have from Harbor Freight Tools. I mean, it's it's something you really need. It comes with a set. I think this one, this one, and I think there's a third one, if I remember right. So let me weld up my final crack. So I have one more crack right here I need to weld up. I welded up the one in the middle, and you notice that I'm penetrating because I've got burns, pretty good-sized burns, and they're bumped. They're lumped up on this side. It's kind of hot. Um, they're lumped up on this side a little bit, so my welds are penetrating all the way through. That's how you know you got penetration on your welding. So I ended up with the giant mountain of welding, uh, but uh, it's good. I just grind it down because I burned through a bunch of times because this is such thin metal right here. So I welded it from the back side too, pretty good. Uh, if you can even see, there we go. Uh, welded it into the support. Welded both suck corners into the support pretty well so that all this is one uniform piece. And uh, this is super strong now. I mean, if you move your hood, it's like stiff. Before they were like wobbly, you know, now it's like. Ta -da. <laughs> so that's how you fix that that hood mess if you have a rust hole right here I mean they're all there's tons of them like that that's how you make the piece to make it pie cut and weld it in place the green bug I did not the blue one but the green one if you see that video that one had a nasty rust hole it was about this big right in the front fix that hood up and that was a four tab hood so those you know are so rare that you, you just can't you can't buy them anymore so um, just go ahead and, and, and do it that way and uh, you'll be fine there you go hood repair and pie cutting <laughs>